What happens when you're using Affinity Designer and you want to use a tool that's only available in Affinity Photo? In today's quick tip, I'll show you how every tool in the Affinity Suite is just one click away. First, I'll assume you have the universal license for all the Affinity programs and they're installed on your computer. Now I have this file opened here in Affinity Designer. It's the program that I prefer working in the most. Now in the background layer, I have this photo and let's say I want to remove this tree on the left. Affinity Photo has a tool that can do this quickly and easily. So what's the fastest way I can use it? Well, I can simply click File, Edit in Photo, and now that project is open here in Affinity Photo. The tool I want to use is the inpainting brush tool. I'll just create a pixel layer above my image. I'll select the inpainting brush tool. Make sure it's set the current layer and below. Let's hide that text. And I'll erase this tree. And now the tree is gone. Now I'll just go back to Affinity Designer. I'll click File, Edit in Designer. And I'm back here in the original program. I can turn my text layer back on. And I even have this pixel layer that has my new data covering the tree. So this is before, after. Now how does this work for certain layer functions that are available in one program and not the other? Let's see how that works. I want to add a vignette to my photo here. And that's a feature that is easily supported in Affinity Photo, but not Designer. So let's go to Affinity Photo again. I'll select File, Edit in Photo. Now to add a vignette, I can click the Live Filter button down here. And this button is not available in Affinity Designer. So I'll click this. And we have all these options, again, none of which are available in Affinity Designer. I'll click Vignette here. And I'll make it an extreme effect so you can see what's happening. This is what this tool does. So you can see it's darkening the corners here. It helps give more focus to the center of the image. So I'll close this. Now you see this vignette control in the layer stack here. So what happens if I go back to Affinity Designer now? Let's check it out. I'll go File, Edit in Designer. And you can see the vignette option is still there. And not only is it still there, but I can click on it and I can actually modify it. So all these controls work exactly the same as they did in Affinity Photo. I can change the hardness, change the exposure, modify the shape. I can move it to a different position in the image. I'll put it below the text. So even though a tool like this can only be created in Affinity Photo, you can still edit it in the other programs like Affinity Designer. Now, if you're having trouble using this feature, like if you select File and all these options here are grayed out, make sure you have the programs installed on your computer and they're all in the same version. Is there a subject you'd like to see covered in a video? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.